welcome to Cooking with Ashley, a casual show where I show you some of the products from my favorite brands, whether that is making the mixes as straight as they are, or adding them into a recipe with a bit of a twist. This week, we are going to be looking at the Butter Mafia Bad Boy Brownie DIY Pack. Everyone who reads my website knows that I absolutely love Butter Mafia, Ken is amazing, and a note, I didn't pay for this mix, it was given to me as a gift for my birthday. So Ken doesn't know I'm doing the video, but it was a gift. I didn't pay for it. They are in Northcote and I will leave the review of their brownies down in the description bar for anyone who would like to check that out. But today we're going to be making these and you can make them as they are, or I'm going to put a bit of a twist on them and make Rocky Road brownies. So let's get started. Firstly, to tell you a little bit about the mix. It does contain soy and is packed into the same facility as products that contain dairy, tree nuts, peanuts, and eggs. In this pack, you will get about 16 to 25 brownies. And these are just the plain brownies as mentioned at the start. Other ingredients do include raw sugar, cocoa powder, chocolate chips, uh, cocoa butter, maize starch, rice flour, tapioca starch, rice bran, Himalayan pink salt, emulsifier, 322, vegetable gum, guar gum, and vanilla flavor. In this pack, you will get one pack of chocolate, labeled bag one, and one pack of your flour and cocoa, labeled bag two, as well as an instruction sheet. So to start, we are going to put our 200 grams of damn good butter, to quote Ken, into a pot with bag one over low heat. Once your mixture is fully melted and combined, nice and smooth, just like this. You're gonna let it cool for a little bit before adding your eggs, otherwise you will create a scramble. Once your mixture has cooled, you're going to break in your eggs one at a time, stirring in between each addition. While you're adding the eggs, you'll notice your mixture does start to get a little bit thicker. Once all your eggs are well combined, we're going to add in bag two. This is our cocoa, our flour and our sugar. And we're going to stir this through as well and at this point we're going to add in our optional ingredients if you just want to keep the brownies plain stop here and then they recommend 200 grams of your favorite additives if you're going to add anything nuts chocolates or candy i'm going to go with a rocky road brownie so i've grabbed some chopped peanuts some gluten-free mini marshmallows and the gluten-free Allen's chocolate-covered raspberries. If you didn't know that these were gluten-free, not all Allen's raspberries are, just the chocolate-coated minis. I'll leave a link into the description, in the description bar to my review. And I'm stirring all of that through. For my breakdown, since they suggest 200 grams, I did 100 grams of peanuts, 20 grams of marshmallows, and about 50 to 60 of the chocolate coated raspberries and that looks absolutely amazing now that we have all of our ingredients stirred together we're going to pour it into an eight by eight prepared baking pan this is a silicon baking pan and i've lined it with baking paper so that nothing sticks 
This is now going to go into the oven for 27 to 32 minutes at 160 degrees. It should form a skin when done. Once your brownie is finished baking, bring it out of the oven and let it rest and cool for a little while, especially if you're using candy like marshmallows, as this does affect the integ structural integrity of your brownie. As you can see, it's a little gummy still, completely cooked through. Also to note, if you are using a silicon baking pan, you will need to cook yours longer than if you are using a metal baking pan, just because of the conduction of the baking pan itself. So I cooked this for about 45 minutes and it looks absolutely amazing and smells even better. Once your brownie has chilled, you can pop it out of your baking mold. It will hold its form much nicer now. I'm just gonna remove the baking paper from the bottom. And then you can cut it to serve. I like my pieces bigger than Ken recommends. So this will only make about 12. And there you have it. If you want to pick this mix up for yourself, you can grab it from the Butter Mafia website for $14.95. I'll leave a link down below. Now last week, Yes You Can gave me the chance to give away some packs of their savoury mix. I have a great announcement. They've now told me I can give away three packs, not just one. So the winners will be in the description bar down below. The winners will have 24 hours to contact me so we can pass on their details to Yes You Can who will send out your prize. I'll see you next week at 6 p.m. Bye.